south side of the tree. Look up, if you can, look for a branch underneath it. In this case, we really don't have, well, I guess we do, further up. Pinpoint, not too low to the ground, enough to compensate for your bucket. Um, take your spigot, or whatever you want to call this thing, keep forgetting it. And I'm using a 1332nd drill bit, seems to work for me. A little bit smaller than what this is, you can tap it in the rest of the way. There we go, wish us luck. And uh, just gotta make sure. Oh, okay. yeah, right about here. Always drilling on an upward angle, helps with the flow of the sap. I'm drilling in about an inch and a half. As you see, I put a little bit of tape mark on it, just makes it easier. And here we go, we'll get some sap going. There, clean the hole out, make sure you're... Good. Make your spigot, or whatever you want to call this thing. And... Gently tap it into the tree. And you'll see the flow like that. So that's two we got going. Now, as I said before, I'll have some uh, covers put on this and that way it'll keep all the debris, rain, snow, so forth. And yeah, looks like it's gonna be half decent uh, maple syrup sap collecting season.